Gargoyle's rescue story actually began in December 2014 when an animal shelter in Georgia took him in. The dog's physical problems were painfully obvious and the shelter couldn't help him all by itself. As a result, they contacted a rescue group in New York. The outfit was the not-for-profit organization Second Chance Rescue SCR. Our mission is to offer a second chance to those animals less fortunate, the group states on its Facebook page. We're a lifeline for thousands of cats and dogs that otherwise wouldn't stand a chance. Gargoyle was certainly among that number, so the Georgia shelter sent some pictures over for SCR to see, and staff there were shocked by what they saw. The images showed a pit bull cross, approximately two years old, that clearly had been living in extremely cramped conditions. On December 24, 2014, SCR's Jacqueline O'Sullivan described what the photos revealed. The tendons in all four legs are ruptured due to his prior living conditions, she told the Huffington Post. In addition, it seemed Gargoyle hadn't been adequately fed. He's very small and underweight, O'Sullivan said. In fact, Gargoyle's posture indicated what his previous owner had subjected him to. His body condition tells us that he lived in a small space, O'Sullivan said, hence his dwarf-like appearance, bent legs and curved spine. Consequently, SCR made plans to assist. We're heartbroken and horrified, O'Sullivan continued, and knew we had to help him. Moreover, it didn't take long for SCR to jump into action. The rescue group started the very next day, and staff began by giving the dog a new, non-derogatory name. SCR decided to call the pooch Landis. Name decided upon, the next thing on the list was to take him to a vet. A few weeks later, on January 7, 2015, an orthopedic surgeon took a fresh look at Landis's legs and spine and had some good news. Surgery wouldn't be necessary. Happily, SCR reported that the specialist had noticed some progress in Landis's condition. It seems staff at the organization had provided Landis with the right kind of medicine, TLC and exercise. In fact, surgery would only cause him more pain. The road to recovery would be a long one, but given time, the doctor expected Landis's legs to continue getting stronger. Meanwhile, Landis wasn't just getting support from his new rescuers, he was getting it from all over the world. In fact, SCR got so much correspondence about the dog that the group created a Facebook page just for him. Staff called it Project Landis. Meanwhile, along with displaying support for Landis, the public also showed its revulsion for the abuse that the dog had suffered. And this was something that SCR considered a victory. Good, when people get angry and upset about abuse, it forces change, it wrote on Facebook on December 15, 2014. And we need change. We need tougher laws and even tougher penalties for the abusers who all too often walk free, SCR continued. Happily, despite his tormentor's best efforts, Landis's condition was slowly improving. The dog was clawing back the life he deserved. Three months after his admission to SCR, Landis could finally walk on all four paws. Not only that, but his backbone and posture were both noticeably straighter. Yet despite all the abuse and pain Landis had experienced, it turned out he only ever wanted affection. Landis is amazing, very sweet and loving, O'Sullivan told the Huffington Post. He's won the hearts of everyone who's met him and many who have not met him. He's definitely struck a chord with people everywhere. So much so, in fact, that it was only a matter of time before someone offered him a home. As it happens, the pooch's doctor had some advice on that very subject. Landis needed a forever home with few, if any, hard surfaces. Terrain such as concrete, for example, would be bad for him. Ideally, as SCR wrote on Facebook, a home with a fenced-in backyard and lots of soft grass would be awesome for Landis. As luck would have it, the perfect placement for Landis came along on January 12, 2015, and SCR seemed pretty chuffed to announce the Pitbull's adoption to his many fans. We're so humbled from all the well wishes, messages, cards, donations, and applications the organization posted on the Project Landis Facebook page. We went with the application we felt was going to be the best fit for Landis for the rest of his life, the post continued. He's going to Massachusetts near Cape Cod. He's minutes from the beach. Sand will be great for his legs. Furthermore, Landis's new home had everything the doctor suggested and with some extras thrown in for good measure. Landis will immediately start hydrotherapy five minutes from his new home, the message went on. He'll have two rescue siblings and a new mom who's home to tend to his needs. 
Following Landis' adoption, his new owner offered fans a cute update written from the pooch's perspective. I've made great progress today, the message stated. I'm getting the hang of potty training in just one day, and I'd love to sit in my mom's lap and chew on my toys. I'm even learning how to play ball. Moreover, in April 2016, Landis was taken along. Moreover, in April 2016, Landis was taken along to a fundraiser run by Wigglebutt Warriors, where he met up again with some of the SCR team. And happily, his transformation was nothing short of amazing. After the dog's rescue, SCR had written, "He will only know compassion, love, and kindness moving forward." And boy, were they right! Just look at him now.